Hello everyone, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on Aberration. I, uh, went and prepared stuff that I'm going to need today, because as you can probably tell by what I'm carrying, I am planning on trying to tame a Yiling today. It is time. We have waited a little bit too long at this point. I've already gotten this Spino, we went right past it, I really want to try out these, these, uh, new creatures. But, uh, I'm definitely worried about how this is going to go. Now, I don't want to go straight for the 150, which is still over there, by the way, luckily. He kind of seems to be stuck, and like I said in the last one, I'm hoping that uh, when I actually go over to try to tame him, he'll actually come down, and I'll be able to do so. But we'll have to see going forward. Uh, I do want to kind of test out how this goes before I just uh, go straight for the higher level ones, and uh, there is another one over here at least. I'm not sure what level it is. I kind of just want to see if I can get it to come up here and see if we can attempt to tame it. See, there's one there. It's level 50. It's not horrible. I think I did see another one hanging off the side of the cliff here. I'm not sure, though. Typically with these, you kind of want to make sure that they're alone. You don't want to have a second one around when you're trying to deal with one, but, uh... We'll, we'll see if I can handle this today, and, uh... If we can take care of... If we can get the timing down, and we can figure out how to knock out a lower level... Then we should be able to take care of the high level one when we finally feel confident in doing that. Oh, and as you can see, I do have a fabricated pistol down here. I totally forgot to even mention it. I was actually going up to the top area up there, and I, uh, I was trying to find some biotoxin from the mushrooms, and there was a purple drop, and it had this pistol in it, which is amazing, a good 300-something percent, and uh, it's not going to be like the best endgame weapon, but it'll definitely help a lot right now, especially with how many of those bullets typically f come in drops. I'm getting a little bit closer over to where what we're trying to find. I'm wearing pretty good armor at the moment. Hopefully that'll be enough. I think my biggest concern is maybe if they'll attack Noir after the fact. I think I've noticed that a lot of the time they don't, uh, most things don't focus in on the Cosmo. They just happen to accidentally kill them while they're eating something else. So maybe that's still the case for these guys as well. So it's a level 50. I haven't actually tested out and see how much damage this does. I'm just going to shoot it real quick, get its attention. 89 damage. Okay. Not bad, actually, considering. Got a lot of different shots per clip. Here we go. So once we get to about 30, I'm going to want to pull out the grenade thing. I'm going to kind of get over here. The reason I still have Noir, though, is for the moments where they get on the ground. So it doesn't... I don't want it to kind of get down and actually bite me. This may be dumb trying to do this near the base. Where is it? Okay, uh... We've been hit enough. Did I do it? Oh, I can't see. I need to actually put this on there. There you go. Ooh. Okay, the timing on that wasn't too bad, actually. I'll just have to make sure that I'm ready to do this again. Once it kind of twirls... Nope, I messed that up. Ooh! Okay, where is it? This is why you bring like 20 or so, I've heard. Oh my god. It's gonna have to get up to 30 again now that it's hit me. Any second now. Oh no, it's on the ground. No, no, no. Stop. Okay, now it's up in the air again. Twirl. Nice. That is two. I think I might... I don't know I actually have a magnifying glass to check. But I'm, I would imagine with a 50, I think it's around... I would hope three. I don't want to have to do this too many more times. That's got stuck on the thing. Oh! Oh, that one hit me. Okay, so my gloves got broken. I'm hoping that we don't end up dying here. Come on. Oh, no. It's broke my hat. We're already taking a lot more damage now. We can't afford to mess up this one. Oh, no. It got me. Okay. I did that a little too early. I started seeing it going up a little bit, and we ended up dying. Oh, shoot. I mean, 
maybe, hopefully, it's not going to be trying to kill Noir. I don't see any damage numbers over there. If I can grab a couple more of the flash things, maybe I'll have to kind of be prepared just in case. I'll just grab five, just to kind of make up for the what I've used so far. Oh my god. Is it still just hanging out over there? Yeah, it's not trying to take on Noir, which is good. I'm glad that they're, they don't uh, sit there and try to kill your Cosmo. Um, but we'll pick him back up. Oh my god, there's so many things in him too. Grab all my gear. Kind of back up a little bit and try to put this stuff back on. Whatever I can salvage. It's going to be really hot for a moment, but I'm going to wear this for protection, honestly. It's going to be our best bet. Just to make sure we have something on most of our parts. Okay, let's try this again. See if we can get the last bit. I'm hoping that it still is mostly knocked out. That I'm not going to have to restart this whole thing since it killed me. Alright, where is it at? Come on, Yiling. Okay, we're only at about 20 shots now. Okay, it's at 30. Doing the dive. Ooh, did I get it? I don't see it. Nope, he must have hit me. Okay, shoot. Well, I mean, that didn't do a lot of damage right, right off the bat. So we'll try this again. At least in this one, I know kind of when to expect it. If they don't hit you and they have to go up to a higher number, you might... Whoop. Might be easy to, uh... Miss the timing. Okay, got it that time. For sure. Ooh, and it's knocked out! Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is a very stressful way to tame something. Uh-oh. Now we actually have another one over by the base. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to take off the fur armor so I don't burn to death. Uh, We have it over by the carcanos. Hold on. Come on, Spino. I don't want to... Uh, we can't have this thing in our base. Hold on. You guys need to be passive. I don't want you to... Uh... If I Can I lure it away? Oh my god. I didn't even mean to kill that dodo. Man, this is not good. This is not a good time. I think I've gotten too close to the 50. This is why you want to be a little bit more careful with the surrounding creatures. You really don't want any other ones nearby to be doing this. Maybe with a pistol it'll be easier just to deal with. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Passive. I can actually just shoot directly at it. How much damage does that do into my Spino? Of course, like, it doesn't help that it's a little bit behind. Oh my god, 191 damage. Is it gonna land? I really would like it if you'd land. You monster. Okay, I shot it, so it should be landing now. Oh, come on, man. They're still just hard to hit when they're flying around. Because they're moving so much. Ow. That's not good. I'm in trouble. This is why you need a shotgun. Holy crap. That was really rough. I almost just died again. And I almost just ate biotoxin because it's in my last hot bar. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> despite that uh, that horrible show just now and all of our armor being broken, let's look at this level 50 that we did knock out. How long is this going to stay down for? Uh, it did look like it... It does look like it's going to wake up. I mean, not super quick. But quick enough. I need to find some mutton because that is apparently something that is their that is their favorite food. Damn, dude, that is rough. That is absolutely rough. Granted, like I said, like running into that second one right after the first was not ideal. I'll take that now that all my armor's broken. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix up a good amount of that. But uh, at least we've learned how to knock one out. That was still not easy, and it'll probably be. 
oh God, three times as many times for the 150. Odds are I'll most likely die to that a couple times too, considering. But, uh... Oh, man. Okay. Hopefully we can find ourselves a sheep down here pretty quick. Why are you hurt? What was attacking you? Hello. What level are you? 20? Oh, okay. See if we can find ourselves a sheep just chilling down here. I'll use the pistol, which I then... I now just showed off how great my, uh... Accuracy is under pressure again. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm seeing a roll rat and scorpions. Ooh, there's a sheep over there. Okay. Fingers crossed I don't run into more yeelings down here. They would definitely kill me now, but I definitely just want to get this mutton. We'll put it directly into Noir because that's, uh, that seems to be the, uh, best plan. Uh oh. <laughs> Way too high up this tree. Where'd the sheep run off to? Oh no. Yeah, I know there's a lot more stuff over here than there was when I was first scouting. Um, everything goes straight for novice as soon as they have a chance. I love how I, I was already saying that I would never want to come back in here and I just come right in just to look for a sheep. Which I did see. It's not like I'm, you know, crazy. They do exist in here. But apparently they don't last any longer just because I happened to find it for a second there. Alright, well, let's, uh, we got to find ourselves a new one already. Not a surprise. Just kind of a little disappointing that it didn't take, that it uh, took two seconds for that to be destroyed. Also, hopefully, with the amount of time that I've been down here, it'll get a little bit, uh, starved out. So I'll just be able to go straight into feeding it. We'll mess with the abilities and stuff on this level 50. And then if I can get more prepared, I'll try to tame one of the, some of the higher levels. Oh, I see one over there. I don't want to go and I don't want to run into that. Nope, we're not going to deal with you right now. I'd really rather not. They are ridiculously fast. I need to get up. I need to climb up. This way I'll actually get away from them. Ugh. Like I said, they can't fly. Oh, look! An Alvis! That works. Good lord. I was really close to death just now. Hello, Alvis. Oh, you have a baby, huh? I don't know where your baby... Oh, there it is. Um... Oh, there's also a bear right there. That's not fun. Okay, I'm going to kill the office real quick. We need to get this mutton. Right now. Oh, that's not going to get... <laughs> I didn't bring a other tool and I wasn't paying attention. That's right. Just shoot the dead, the dead sheep. Uh, let's actually uh, hurry up and put this on to... The war. Drop this. I want to grab that baby sheep. Hello. I don't have a cryopod, so hopefully you'll be able to survive down here. We'll give you a handful of berries and come grab you in a minute. That's not berries. That's mushrooms. Okay. Here you go. I will be back shortly. All right. For now, go over here. I don't want anything to eat you. Okay, it looks like they're still down, so that's good. And I have more biotoxin and narcotics to keep it down if I have to. Alright, how close are you to waking up? Okay, not, not that close at all. You're only halfway down. Okay, fantastic. Let's grab some mutton. I'm just going to pull five from Cosmo. Oh yeah, that is more than enough. Are we going to be able to tame you right off? Ooh, we got ourselves the Yiling! Hello, Yiling. You are very cool, but also very mean. Come on over here. Let's uh, have you join the family now that you're not actually trying to murder us. I really need to try to make some med bruise or something for the next time I do this, because uh, that, uh, that was brutal. That was very brutal. 
And you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing. Okay, we're going to unlock and make your saddle. Unlock the Yee-Link saddle. Yee-Link saddle. Yee? Yee. Yee! <laughs> we got the Yee-Link saddle. Do I have to make it in the smithy? I think we do. What are you? Oh, no. I guess that was the Dodo that I accidentally ran over with the Spino. All right. Noir, you are backwards on me, buddy. What are you doing? That was weird. Okay, hopefully I have enough materials just to make this right off. I would love to try and fly around on this thing. Oops. Yeeling. I am missing a little bit of wood. Just uh, <laughs> hang tight. I'm going to grab my tool and not shoot a tree because I didn't pay attention to what the, what's on there. Uh, let's see. Yep. Grand. We'll just put the pistol away for now because I'm just a little trigger happy, I guess. Well, I'm going to put these back in this box now. I think we're just going to make do with this level 70 for now also. Because like I said, I think I want to have med brews if we're going to tame something a little higher level. So, hey. Stop. Thank you. If you can't hit the dodo to collect the body, then don't bother. Thank you very much. Your voice gives me PTSD from all the times I've dealt with your family. <laughs> Alright, now I should be able to pull for the saddle. If I can just stop clicking the wrong stuff, thank you very much. I really like the look of the saddle, by the way. I'm looking forward to seeing it on the actual thing. How did I get so thirsty so fast again? I guess I'm not wearing any of my ghillie stuff anymore. I'm going to have to take down another Karkonos to get my... Uh, to get my gloves repaired. Because I'm out of the organic polymer, I'm pretty sure. At least the majority of this stuff is made out of chitin. And that's not that big of a deal. Okay, now that we're not going to be dying from the heat or the cold anything right now, let's put this saddle on this nice new creature. Hello, we'll figure out a name for you soon enough. I'm a dumb and forgot the saddle. Alright, at least I'm going to be wearing some sort of armor now after all that. Here is your saddle. Get down to the bottom of my list here. There you go! Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Those are very intricate designs and I very much enjoy the look of that. <laughs> We're on a yeeling. I am definitely weighing it down because I'm carrying way too much stuff. If I tap space, even when we're heavy, I can still go a little bit, huh? That's cool. Oh my god, that's super quick. I would have tried to do this sooner if I hadn't waited, waited so long to grow those uh, those plants. Let's put all this chitin away. And the fur. Oh, I need to clear out this inventory more. I'm a little bit lighter now, so that means the yeeling should be fine. Fantastic. Look at that thing. That jump is pretty crazy. So if I go up here and I jump and hit space, we grab onto the wall. Okay. Whoa! I should probably grab a cryopod just in case I end up going underneath. So I can at least pick her, pick her back up. This is a female, right? Yeah. Just so I can pick her back up and then swing up here if I have to. Let's see. Grab a cryopod or two. Oh man. So let's see. So we got fire feather, which I can't do on the ground, obviously. If I jump, I have to be gliding to do that. Okay. Cycle feather type. Aim mode C. So jump and glide, first thing. Then if I do that, I can shoot my feathers. Okay. Then if we go down, can we gain a bit of momentum? Then come back up. And then use a dash. Where's the dash? So, let's see. So, I mean, if I keep tapping space, you can kind of get some kind of crazy speed built up. I want to mess with some of the other stuff, but I think I'm going to have to go uh, kind of near the top again. Okay, good. The sheep's still alive. Let's pick them up. I want to bring them back to base. Not uh, have them get tortured down here. Also, there's a bear right there. I should check what level that is. There you are, big guy. We'll take it back home with us. Okay. And then, what level is this bear? It's only level 15. Dang. After the last episode, I definitely still want a bear for us. Oh! You're another sheep with a baby. Is your baby female, by chance? If Is it alive? Baby sheep? 
If you have a baby, a, a female baby sheep, then I will definitely do what I can to bring it back home safely. No? I don't even see the baby around. I wonder if it got killed by something else. Oops. So it said something about changing the aim mode. Oh! Dash is C plus while, while gliding. That's what that means. Okay, is there... So there is a cooldown on the dash, obviously. Oh, that's actually really cool. So you can only do the one dash per glide. Is that what we're finding out right now? If we get a bit of a speed boost, then do a dash. Then latch. No? <laughs> okay, well I just took some falling damage. That's okay, though. Still learning this creature. That's really cool, though. I can only imagine the kind of crazy, like, maneuvers you can pull off with this guy. Look at it, though. It's so it's such a beautiful bird. Such a such a shame. It's such a pain in the butt while trying to just <laughs> trying to get away from it. I hope there isn't another one down here. Uh, not seeing one. There's still the 120 over there. The 150 male is above, but there was the 150 female. I don't know for sure where she ended up. I think at one point I saw her down here, but I don't know for sure. It's a dodo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that dash is actually pretty good if you use it right off the bat. I can almost get back up there. Maybe if I land over here on these mushrooms. I kind of land... Oh! Well, not quite that. But actually... I can get another dash if I land like that. No way. So you can kind of do some sort of climbing with this. What? Actually, that's really cool. I'm glad that I figured that out. Because I was thinking I was going to have to... Go get another cryopod. Granted, obviously, the stamina is not the best right now. She's only level 70. So, uh, could be a lot better, but holy crap. Let's actually even add to the stamina. That added quite a bit per level, honestly. I am hungry. Let's make my dude eat. What does that say? Rider protection. What? That's me. So am I protected? What am I protected from? I mean, I'd say it's definitely worth the huge pain that it is to tame. But, I mean, obviously this is only a level... It was only a level 50. So you definitely could find something a lot better. But either way, they're very fun. I haven't even done any of the battling yet. I'm just worried about that because I'm going to have to hit them a bunch of times. And then do the... The rupture, I guess is what it's called, to actually do a lot of damage. Either way, though, I definitely, uh, I definitely get it. <laughs> I definitely get it. Alright, I think we'll leave her up here for now. Even though we are planning on getting higher level ones, she's still a very, very majestic looking bird. <laughs> it's got a little scratch. A little scritchy scratchy under the beak. Alright, well, heck yeah. I'm uh I'm gonna try to advance my stuff a little bit more, like I said before I go after that 150 over there. Oh, we got a raptor up here. I think that's the first that I've had around this part of the base. It's mostly just been the Yi Ling's the worst thing. Hello. Goodbye. At least you were alone. Didn't have a crazy pack just coming up to the base. I need to finish the protection, honestly. But while I was looking, I actually did find a good spot for crystal. I'm actually going to probably make a zip line that goes up to that upper portion because it has it has a bunch of metal and it has crystal and it has well you know what I'm going to show you I'll just show you while I'm kind of talking about it. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, there's crystal up here, quite a good amount of crystal specifically, so I don't have to just break gem nodes. There's also a good amount of mushrooms up here, so I should actually be able to get more of the um, what's it called the Biotoxin. Anytime that I need any biotoxin, I can just come back up here and collect from those. There's also metal nodes. There's one right here. There's a couple more around. So actually, this is not a bad spot to kind of be right near the base. I'll just have to make a series of zip lines so I can get up here easily with the Ravagers. Because yeah, there's the base just right there. 
But uh, I may have to find... I might have to set up one that'll bring me up there first, then down here. I mean, I can just walk down here, honestly, from that part. As long as I get a zip line somewhere, that'll be a bit nicer. If I could just make one from there, because that line comes here, and get back up here. That just seems a little far. I may have to mess around with that a little bit and see if that's something I can do. But uh, for now, at least I'm glad that I have somewhere over here that I don't have to go deal with the other yielding infestation. Not nearly as many nodes of metal, but it'll at least help. I feel like if I can reach that far with the uh, Cosmo, I might be able to do it with the zipline, but I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm going to let the sheep out just for a little bit. I want to make sure that we can let him grow up. And uh, once he's grown up, we'll put him back away until we find him a mate. But at least we have one. Hello, little orange sheep. I'll find you a mate someday. Let's make sure that we pull some berries onto you, though, so you don't end up starving. Pull some ammo berries. Oh, why didn't it pull anything? There we go. Now nah, you'll be good for a long time. I like like it's got. I like that it has a bit of a gourd on the back of the saddle. That's kind of funny. A gourd. I like the intricate little uh, gold patterns on this thing as well, and the little back. Pa I like the little uh, bedroll that's in there. It's just a nice little touch to the saddle. Honestly, it's very very cool. It's it's a nice it's a nice looking creature. I am not going to complain about it. Now that we have one, anyway. They are definitely still pests while trying to deal them deal with them in the wild. Can I shoot from the back of this? Oh, I can use things. Hold on. I didn't bring a gun or anything to use, but you actually can use tools and stuff from the back of the healing. That's really awesome, too. That means I could actually use this to probably tame a bear and, and actually just outrun it real quick. Oh, I need to go back to base and grab the gun. If we can go or go and uh, tame a bear today, that would probably make up for everything that happened last time. Just maybe. Just, just possibly. I kind of want to rectify this as well. I know there was an episode I was saying that the melee damage had to be the thing you put the points into to get the extra charges. I guess it just has tied to the level in general, so you can put it in whatever you feel like you want to put it in. And it will still gain more charges over time, so. That is how that is. I kind of want to make a couple more things here at the base real quick so I can place a couple of these items away and not feel like they're going to spoil on me. So just give me a second real quick, and I'll bring you back when we start heading out to find the bear. Okay, I repaired the armor that I can repair for now. I made a preserving bin and put every kind of meat and mushroom in there that I currently have and made a bunch of spark powder just so that it doesn't run out on us while we are out and away. Looks like we're still a little bit heavy. I do probably need to level up the weight on this yieling a little bit, but uh, considering our plan is to try to go and knock out a bear, that's kind of what we're... I don't really need to worry about carrying too much, but I'm bringing a bunch of cryopods, so I should be fine either way. So let's head on out. I'm not entirely sure where we want to start looking. I never picked up my trap from that beginner area, so I might just try to go up that way and see uh, how long it takes me to get there on this creature versus using uh, Noir and Noir alone. But we shall see. Get a little bit of a momentum boost there and do the, the charge. The dash rather. So we definitely got to worry about her stamina quite a bit more than... I guess with Cosmo there's not really a stamina thing to worry about as much as just the charges. But... I really like... I really like what this thing can do. Uh, can you gain stamina by staying here? No, I think that would be broken, huh? Alright, let's do this. Kind of head this way a little bit. Oh, that's actually not the right way. That's going into the Fertile Lake, which we don't really want to do today. We already did that before. This doesn't have spores in it, does it? God, I hope not. Seems like we're fine. And if it turns out that the racer is still alive, which I, I would hope that it is, we can upload that into the thing now, as long as it's grown up. Oh, hello, sheep. I see you've got a baby over here, yeah? That is a female sheep. I think we, uh, we're gonna need some mutton here anyway, aren't we? If we end up finding a bear. So... How much do you do just by the normal attack? 42? Alright, alright. So if you do this... Oh, gosh. 
So let's attack it with this. And then if I do... That is hard to, that is hard to aim. <laughs> I mean, you obviously don't want to specifically try to do damage with that. Alright, where's the baby? There it is. We're gonna claim you. Put you in a cryopod super quick. Come on. No, 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 no. There we go. You can't get away from me. Welcome to your new family. Cool. Got ourselves some sheeps. And a good amount of mutton on... Wait, no. Hold on. Where's the... Oh, don't hit that. Okay. There's the there's the sheep. They're not very good at collecting meat and stuff, are they? It didn't take too long to get up here. I mean, obviously I'm not at the very top just yet, but... I'll land on this. I might be able to just land up there. We're going to have to stop for Stam up here, though. There's a bear. Ah, it's only level 20. Damn. Okay, get the momentum boost. Then the actual dash. Pretty good gliding distance. As long as you're not actually trying to point upwards. Can't complain about it too much, can you? Let's land here. And get the little dash. I didn't do the jump right. There's still an office down there. Okay. If we do find a bear up here, like if it respawned and ended up being even better, turned out to be like a 150, maybe? I wouldn't complain about that. We still have mutton within range. How much does it la how long does it land on you? I mean last, I mean. 35 minutes. Is this that level 85 one? Yeah. I mean it doesn't technically have to be a high level bear for what I'm trying to use it for, but a high-level bear is very nice to have, regardless. Carrying a lot or something, Noir? No, you're not. You only have a little bit of mutton, which is going to be gone very soon. I don't see the racer anymore. Uh, but I don't recall seeing it say that it died. Did it die and I just missed it? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Did it just happen? I think it's because I just got within render distance. But it doesn't even... The body's not even around. I'm sorry, Racer. I shouldn't have done that then. I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to upload you. Let's pick up the trap then. And continue our search for a high-level bear. Most likely I'm going to have to pick up and uh, upload the trap. Given the, the weight capacity on our Yiling. But still. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put one more into weight. That only went up like seven points. That could be because of just the overall weight right now. If it had a higher weight stat by default, I think it goes up more, but... It's all good. Okay, I think I want to try looking just kind of down here, if I can. I do remember that there were still quite a few bears hanging around when I was... Uh, Searching this area for stuff at the beginning. Ooh, there's another drop. Let's grab that one. I, I actually am starting to really like this creature. <laughs> I mean, I know I've already said that, but... Built-in uh, glide suit and everything? Oh, okay, well, that's kind of lame for a purple drop, but I guess I did actually find that gun now, so I'll actually be able to use it. I mean, I could do... This? <laughs> nope, hold on. I messed up. Do I just land? Just run into it? Okay, I can actually just press this. So now... What does changing aim mode mean? So... Oh. Oh, okay. I have to use right click for that. Right. So right click the fire feathers. And then if I want to attack it... After the fact... I've got to do a left control and left click. Uh, that's not enough, apparently. Yeah, I don't know how to pull that off. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if I've done enough hits. Is it still going to come after me? Maybe. Being able to pull this off, like, mid-air would be crazy. So, if I build it up, does it have to be full-full? 
Maybe it has something to do with the amount of melee damage mine does by default. I wonder if it had higher damage, if it fills up faster. So I'm going to fill this bar up all the way, then we'll try it out. So again, control and left click. Am I out of... Oh, yeah, I used up all my feathers. Oh. Ooh. 700 damage. Holy crap. Can I do it again now? Oh, I can. And it does depend on how much you do. Oh, my god. Alright, well, that's cool. I'm gonna get out of here because my stamina is a little low and I'm out of... Razor feathers? Maybe I'll do it again. Just because it is fun. Boom! I think they're gonna they're gonna finish off my prey. Aww. I wanted the I wanted the experience for that, thank you very much. <laughs> Rude. Maybe we do want to take a look up by the fertile lake. Kinda to see uh if we can find a bear. They do spawn there also. I'll try not to hold shift so we can kind of go as far as we can. Although, it definitely slows down a significant amount. So maybe we just want to keep holding it when we're trying to travel somewhere. You just don't hold it when you're trying to use the combat. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's see. That does kind of make it easy to try to scout stuff out, actually, if you have this height. Main thing is you actually have to be within render distance of the creatures, but uh, we should be fine. Just got to keep an eye out on my stamina. What I really want to do is try to find more some treasure maps. I've heard that you can get some crazy stuff out of those on this map so far, and I'm hoping that we can find something soon. Now that we actually have a way to travel parts of the map a lot more effectively, that would be a fun thing to do, do some treasure hunting. I was pretty sure there would be a lot of bears out here. I've been proven wrong so far. Maybe when I go up towards the... Yeah, all these metal structures and stuff. Now that we're actually kind of low enough to see the creatures on the ground floor. I was way too high up when I got here last time. This isn't the... Okay, no. I was a little worried we were getting to the surface thing. I don't really want to go through one of those because they are filled with spores. And I'm not wearing a hazmat suit. I did learn the blueprint for it. I learned the engram. Ooh, bear. Hello. 20, come on. Uh-oh, we're out of stamina. Okay, I don't want you to take any falling damage. <laughs> I'd rather take a little bit myself. Let's just kind of walk slowly. <laughs> Poor planning on my part, my bad. I was not watching that. Hello, other sheep. Is it because I'm holding forward? It might be because I was holding forward. It might be a dash in a direction. <gasps> oh my god, that must be it. You, sh you choose a direction you want to dash in, and if you're choosing up, then you dash... If you press forward, then you dash up. Oh my god, that makes sense. Okay, I figured it out. We're good. <laughs> it moves really slow when it's out of stamina as well, so that worst part, the worst thing you could do is end up landing next to a basilisk when you are out of stamina. There's no escape there. You kind of just have to leave your uh, yeeling there to die, unfortunately. Unless you have really good gear to take care of it, but uh, I don't, so... <laughs> when I came over here before, I mentioned that there were some drops that I like to collect, and I didn't even go near them. So maybe we'll actually go that way, see if I can find him again. They're on the, the northern, northeast side of this area. Add a little bit more stamina, because that actually goes up quite a bit. A lot more than weight does. There's a basilisk. The perfect reason why to add more stamina. Oh, scorpions knocked out this poor dodo. Crazy sounding. So yeah, I had made a zip line here. Drops were spawning over here, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Doesn't look like we have anything now. There's a white one down there. May as well check it if I'm over here. Let's 
Let's not try to go too fast and run out of stamina. Just gonna have a nice chill gliding session over here. Alright, white drop. Give me like an ascendant parasaur saddle or something. Or an achy saddle. We're gonna want one of those soon enough. Heck yeah. Very well protected. Very awesome. Unexpected and yet I love it. Oh, looks like a green drop spawn while we were kind of heading over that way. Is that the same spot? That's crazy. Any luck here with another Ascendant thing? Nah, okay. What is the deal with the soap? Why do you gotta give me so much soap? So rude. Oh my gosh, a uh, drop actually spawns on the end of this as well? I had no idea that one would actually spawn over here. It's a white drop, so I'm not gonna expect much. But I guess so far my luck in white drops has been better than anything else. Yeah, look at that! How's that in a white drop? Those are some really good fur pants. Okay, well, I haven't really had any luck finding any bears or anything. I'm gonna put all these, I can put the saddle and the pants, every other bit of extra armor that I found into Noir just so that our bird isn't too heavy. And we're gonna dive off here and kind of start flying towards the base. There can be bears near the base as well, so I guess I can't really just try to travel everywhere else but there. But this is really cool. This is a very cool experience. Look at us. <laughs> I don't really want to lose any of our height right now, so I'm just going to kind of let us go for a while. Just see how long we can last. I'm going to add a little bit of speed, and then even out a little bit, because we were kind of going very slow there. When I do go into the, the diving mode, it does use a little bit more stamina, I, I noticed. Not a lot more. You can still kind of just keep going for quite a while. This is really pleasant. I highly recommend it. Once you have the means to try to tame one of these things anyway. That process was stressful, but... You know, there's so much goodness after the fact. Let's not run into any more, okay? Let's not do that right now. I'm almost going to make it all the way back here, by the way. This is still the, f the same glide. Just a couple little boosts here and there. Landed 500 away. It's 1,500 meters just from that spot over there. It's quite good. And very fun, regardless. Ooh, I would get that note if I... I don't know. I don't want to... I don't want to waste it on this one. I may want to use it on a an imprinted baby from both the 150 parents. Assuming I could find that 150 female again, because I'm pretty sure at one point I saw it fly across the river towards my base, and uh, like the last time I really saw it fully, it was still, uh, it was still on that tree. So it's all just kind of maybe, maybe not. Let's latch over here and get jumped up here. Maybe. Am I gonna actually hit the wall before I before I run out of steam? There we go. Just got to do it one more time. Alright, cool. Jump, jump, dash. Awesome. We made it back up here. Despite all the distance that we traveled, that 150 is still over there. And I'm going to have to unload this guy, this, uh, this lady here, real quick. We'll bring you back here in a little bit. So I've kind of been out trying to scout for a bear in between the little clips there. And I found this right here. So we're going to mark this Gigantoraptor, and we're going to come over here once we have some eggs that we can use. Because I am not missing out on a 135 Gigantoraptor. That's crazy. I'm going to leave that here. I need to get back to base, though, because I'm actually out of food, and I don't want to end up dying. I did actually have a bit of a fall. That's why I look already pretty hurt. But uh, we do not... We're not going to actually fully die out here. I'm going to make it back to base. This is a lot higher up here without anywhere to go that I that I had thought. Okay. <laughs> I 
I think this is that area above... Uh-oh. There's a situation I don't want to be in. I actually don't think it noticed me. Oh, now it did. Let's just keep going. Now we already tamed one of you today. We don't need another. Thank you. Let's get some charges and not get bopped, please. We got a drop up here. That's not really what we're after, though. Damn loot addiction. This is that spot above my base where I've been grabbing stuff. Well... I don't know what level this is. Level 25? Okay, we should be okay, actually. Can I kill if I shoot it with a rifle? Maybe not in one shot, but... Ooh, that's a lot easier to deal with. Um, you may have noticed a couple new things in my hotbar. I grabbed a couple drops, and one had a very strong pike, and another had an amazing pickaxe. So I'm very happy that I have these things now. I'm a little concerned about the fact that I almost just lost them above my base, but, uh... That's fine. Turns out we're okay. We can grab this drop as well and we hit back. <laughs> oh, rare flowers and some frank arrows. Nice. Let's reload our rifle and make sure we don't uh, get ourselves caught with our pants down yet again. But, uh, ooh, did it drop anything? Ooh, a treasure map! I was just talking about wanting the treasure maps and it's a freaking apprentice one as well. Maybe we should go and uh, grab our shovel and we'll fly over towards that and then... I'll give myself just one more chance to look for a bear. There's a uh, 95 that's just underneath the base that I could take as well as its baby, and it would have we would have a breed pair. They would be obviously lower level than what we were what I was hoping for, but considering I'm mainly just trying to use them to collect honey, if I at least have a mate pair right off the bat, even if one is uh, half the level of the other one, then uh, at least we'll have something to get started with. Come on. Woo! A little bit of a lag, but it's okay. I'm going to grab that straight up. Put these things back in here. I tried to find a good spot to get up to the metal nodes and the crystal from down here, but it's just a little bit too high, so I may have to build a somewhat middle structure to actually climb up to to get up there going forward, but uh, it's all good. I'm pretty sure we're still going to be too heavy to get onto the yingling, though. So let me put some more things away, and we'll bring you back when we start heading towards the treasure. Okay, so where do we have this treasure? I'm going to have to use it while off the yingling. Oh, thank goodness it didn't uh, send me into the blue zone. Okay, let's go see if we get ourselves something amazing from this. I really hope we do, because I have heard, like I said earlier, that the uh, treasures from these can be amazing, and it's going to be hilarious if I end up getting something horrible. I feel like that's what it's going to do to me now that I I put that into the world. But hey, let's see. Let's just get on over there. So it's most likely going to be down here along the edge here. I'm not seeing any bears. Mostly just the usual super dangerous things. Maybe if I'm up on this ledge, we'll at least kind of minimize the potential death. If we are just here. Uh, we still have ravagers and raptors and stuff. But maybe they'll jump off the side if I... Kind of hover along this cliff. And there they go. Fantastic. <laughs> Rally point is there. So it should be within 100 meters. So let's see. Can I dig here? If I do the right thing? Yes. Come on, big money. Give us a good rifle. That'd be amazing. And it's poop. Yeah, no, I, uh, I called that. We'll take the metal structures back home. But, uh, I wish we would have gotten ourselves something crazy. Who knows, though? We might find more than that soon. I'm going to head on back to base, kind of using the lower route. I only found the one bear along, along the way down here, and, uh... I'm pretty sure... There's got to be at least something around that's higher than 95, right? We're going to get some stamina real quick. I think I'm just going to call it there. We're going to have to go find that. Uh, we're going to go take care of that bear nearby. Granted, it is in that zone where everything seems to be disappearing. So I'm not even sure that's still around at this point. We'll have to see, though, when we get back. Okay, that bear's right here, I'm pretty sure. This one's got to be it right here. There are so many things nearby, though, that I'm a little bit worried about it getting killed. I'm pretty sure this is also a 40 Carcanos, yeah. I would love to tame that as well, but we don't really have the means at the moment. 
We should try to get a couple levels of the Yingling, I guess, while we're out and about and have the note. Melee only goes up 4%, huh? Oh, there's the Rock Drake. That's a different one, though. It's only level 20. There's a second one? A 130. Yeah, these are different Rock Drakes. That concerns me. Oh, the bear's already fighting something. Please don't be the 140. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna swap. Oh, I can do that midair, can I? Oh, I can. Th it'll swap through all the feathers and stuff, too. Okay, I don't know how much it's going to take to knock out a bear that's level 95, but if we can lure it over here, kind of up along this path, we may be totally fine. Because I don't think there's much out and around this way. Okay, we'll get ourselves a little bit of room. That's crazy that you can literally just glide. You can glide with this something you can shoot on. Oh no, I'm hearing... Uh-oh, is that thing after me? Um, I don't think it is currently, but it will be soon. Oh no, it's on me. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good for me. Hello. Are you the 130 or the... I don't know if I want to figure it out. Maybe I'll swap rifle bullets again. Swap from trying to tame to now trying to kill. If we can kill a rock drake while we have this boost, that'd be cool. Also, if we end up dying, then we'll die and that would suck, but, you know, that is another story. This thing moves a lot more. Okay, cool. You really gotta lead it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that did so much damage. I'm pretty sure that is the 130, and I'm not going to keep risking the ceiling for that, so... We're just going to move on. The bear is un even out of reach for now. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not good. I mean, we get headshot damage on us, so... I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. They did so much. Okay, maybe we can swap to the bear again. Assuming it didn't get killed by something else. Is that still down there? Somewhere? I saw it was running off as we were getting attacked by that thing. There's another bear over there. Oh, there it is. That's the 95. Is it being chased by the Sarko, though? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm going to land over here for some health. I mean, some stamina. Bear's not too focused on me right now, or not at all. And while we get some more stamina, make sure we're loaded. I'm going to have her collect some meat off this so she has something to heal with. Also, I'm going to check this for another treasure map. No. Okay. Okay, bear. Back where we were. <clears throat> I don't know if the bear's baby is still alive, by the way. I haven't seen it. But at least we'll have a bear that's about 145 or so. As long as we can actually knock it out, and we've got to find some mutton in a bit. Oh, I keep missing, because I can't see it very well. There we go. Okay, where's the bear? Oh, it's running. Don't want to knock it out in the water, obviously, but... Don't want to get it... Don't want it to get too far, either. Nothing into something dangerous. Don't. Don't go that way. There are rock drakes. Don't forget about them. Turn around, you goofball. There you are. Oh, we're getting stuck on the parasaur. Oh, we're out of stamina. That's really the problem. It's over there. They shouldn't jump off the cliff, because I don't think they decide to do that. Oh, I missed. Okay, hold on. We got it. We got it. Okay, and... Boop. Gonna go out now? Come on. Right here would be a good spot, because there isn't too much right here right now. 
I'd be able to go find us a sheep for some mutton. No, don't go out in the water. Oh, you fool. Now I can't even shoot you right now. Maybe that's part of your plan. I don't know. Oh, the Carcanos. Do not get near the Carcanos. Bear. Bear. No. No, no, no. I definitely don't want to kill the Carcanos because it is the one, the 130? Or 140? No! Stop! Oh. You... Where's your baby? Is the bear baby alive? Tell me the bear baby's alive. Can I just claim it and move on? <laughs> I don't even need a crazy high level bear. It may have gotten killed on the other side of the river before I tried to take it. Man, I am so annoyed with the game taking bears from me. I now used up the majority of the darts this time because they actually had them ready to go. And then he went in the water, went straight to the Carcanos. I really should be using a trap for the bear, but I just... He did not want to go in it last time, so... There was also a bear up here when I was trying to get the sheep. Level 15 with a, ba with a cub. It's actually there. For now. So that we can kind of get rid of this whole hunting thing. I'm just going to take care of this very low level bear. I'm going to take its cub. And I'm going to use that cub to get us some honey. Holy crap, that still did a lot of damage. Yeah, I need to reload my gun. I can't let the Yiling just fight this head on. Even level 15 bear. Boop! Oop, I missed. <laughs> it's very, very odd to actually try to shoot from the back of a, of a flying creature. Even if it is really just a gliding creature. Alright, where did your cub run off to? Oh, there you are. You are coming with me. No escape, bear. <laughs> You're going to grow up with us. And then I'm going to have you help us get some honey from stuff. That way we can get ourselves a roll rat and get us as much wood as we're ever going to need. Let me let that bear out. We'll let her grow up. We'll have to uh, take her out on another one. But at least we have a bear. We have something to help us out. And she'll have a crazy amazing saddle. So it will take quite a bit to take care of her. And by take care of her, I mean kill her. But you know what I mean. Come on. But I think we're going to end that one there. I really wish that we could have gotten ourselves a much higher level bear. But I think that is still something that is possible in the future. Who knows? Maybe this bear back here actually has an amazing trait. And it was worth taking it in our hands today. As well as this healing. The taming method is crazy. But uh, I'm... I'm you know, considering it only killed me the one time, that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> but they are amazing creatures to fly around on, and I couldn't recommend at least trying to tame one enough, because they are super fun and very nice to just kind of glide around on. But uh, that all being said, if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you've got anything to bring up about this series or any other one on the channel, let me know in the comments below. If you want to help contribute to the channel just a little bit more as well, we do have links in the description for Coffee and Patreon. You can also become a YouTube member, and all of which actually gives you full access to our community cluster of ARC servers so we can play ARC together. And it's all highly appreciated. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!